Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog, and today we're going to talk about taming effectiveness in Arc Survival Evolved, what it is and why you want it to be as high as possible. So, for this example, we have a female Triceratops 130 that we've knocked out in this taming pen. And taming effectiveness is going to be about two things. Mostly it's going to be about how much the dinosaur eats, so how many bites of food this Triceratops is going to eat, and it's also going to be about how much damage it takes while it's asleep. So if you accidentally shoot it one more time, uh, like here I've got this uh, long neck here with uh, shocking tranquilizer darts. If you shoot it one more time when it's already asleep, it's going to lose taming effectiveness. Or if like a carno comes running over after, when it's asleep and starts chomping on it and you eventually kill the carno, it's going to lose taming effectiveness that way. So every creature in Ark has preferred food. Now some of it makes pretty much most sense that it's going to be very similar for like most her herbivores or more, most carnivores and sometimes it's going to be something completely weird but in this case we've got a triceratops and it's the sort of the normal food that it wants to eat is berries but even with berries there's going to be some berries that are better than other others so in the case of the triceratops uh, mijo or mejo berries or however you want to say it are the preferred berry of the triceratops so if you feed them uh, this one in particular so according to a wonderful calculator that you can find online called dodox.com i'll put a link uh, to that in the description according to this if our taming speed uh, is uh, 4x and with this level 130 it's going to require 47 major berries to eat but if we use just mixed berries that you know so tinto berries azul berries and, and that sort of thing it's going to take 71 um, it'll take about the same amount of time, but it'll eat more. So that means the taming effectiveness is going to be less. But even on top of those berries, it would still rather eat crops. So with crops, it's going to eat uh, 36 crops, and uh, that'll be less. And so the taming effectiveness is going to be higher. And then at the very top of the scale is simple kibble. So simple kibble is one of these kibbles where you have to mix eggs with other things in a cooking pot or an industrial cooker in order to make this um, kibble, which is the preferred food. And so that is actually, in this case, um, we'll eat only four and it'll give us 100% taming effectiveness. So 100% taming effectiveness will give us more levels. So in this case, it should give us 64 levels if we give it simple kibble. If we only gave it the mixed berries, it's least preferred food it would get 62 but that's at these high taming rates so if i went down to like vanilla we'd only get 38 levels um, with the mixed berries and we'd get you know the 64 with the simple kibble so depending upon your rates so if you're on official it's going to be you know that much more important plus it's going to take a lot more time so if we go for simple kibble according to the calculator it's going to take 18 minutes to tame this triceratops, but if we use mixed berries, it's going to take an hour and 24 minutes. So that's a massive difference in your day, especially with a triceratops um, or especially herbivores in general. So like a Bronto or something like that is going to take you absolutely forever if you're just using, uh, you know, if you've got a max level Bronto, if you're just using berries. So always a good idea once you get to the point where you can start making kibble to make it um, if you can collect the crocked eggs and again, on Dodo X and uh, some other sites too, it's going to tell you how to make those things. So let's go ahead and give this guy uh, a couple pieces. Let's give him a couple pieces of kibble and we'll give him some berries here and see what the bar is. So with the rates that we have, and they're also boosted lately because of an event, uh, we're taming, we got taming effectiveness of 99%. But let's let's shoot this guy by accident oops and now our taming effectiveness is down to 66.6 percent .6%. so we're only going to get 43 levels um, instead of 64 and so if that's a big problem for me what i might want to do is take all the food out of this dinosaur here and let it wake up knock it out again because that taming effectiveness is um, going to be reset once it wakes up and gets knocked out again so that's one way to save it so sometimes you might just have to go ahead and shoot something if you really need a tame um, with a tranquilizer dart if you don't have narcotics or whatever you might have to risk that but uh, another little thing just to show you 
is to go up here and you can go to the taming list way up at the top it's the little footprint with the plus on it and this will give you a list of all the things that you're taming so right now so i've got a bunch of bagomastix that i've uh, been attacked by but look we'll uh, can put a trace on this uh, triceratops so as you're walking around and you're trying to get some resources or whatever, you can go back to your list. You can look at it, and it's going to show you how tamed it is, how how far the taming bar is coming along. It's also going to show you the taming effectiveness. And if that dropped suddenly, you're going to say, "Oh, something might have bit it or whatever." But you can also see the health and stuff on here. So this is going to be very very handy for you when you're taming something plus you have the location as you can see shows up so if you know you drop something down um, in the vegetation or whatever you're going to find it easier but that's uh, all there is really to know about taming effectiveness basically you just want as high level dino as you can get for the most part unless you're just using cannon fodder or something like that so it's important to try to get the best taming effectiveness uh, that you can by feeding it the right food for the most part so I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Love hearing from you guys down in the comments, especially new players to find out how you guys are doing. And uh, thanks for watching.